This is question 3 from the 2008 calculator paper. Here we're given a scatter graph. It tells us that it contains some information for some weather stations. It shows the height of each weather station above sea level. That information is given in the y-axis. And the mean July midday temperature for that weather station, which is given on the x-axis here. So the table shows some... For part A tells us that the table shows this information for two more weather station so we're given some more information plot this information on the scatter graph so the height of the weather station above sea level a thousand meters at that there the temperature was 20 degrees so I'm going to go along to find 20 degrees first and then I need to go up to where 1000 is at the same point and that is going to give me one of my points then for the second one I need to go along to 22 now this is probably the place where people would make the most mistakes because we need to be careful on our scales here we can see it goes from 20 up to 25 and there are 10 squares in between so each square is only representing 0.5 degrees so there's going to be 21 22 is going to be there and then I need to go up to 500 when you're doing this try to be as precise as possible just to make sure you don't give away any silly, silly um, make any silly mistakes and give away unnecessary uh, unnecessary marks so you'd need both of those to get that mark um, okay part B asks you what type of correlation does this scatter graph show well we can see that the that the plots are coming in this downward direction they're coming downwards as you go along so what you could say is that there is negative. So as the temperature is going up, the height of the weather station above sea level is coming down. Uh, draw a line of best fit on the scatter graph. Well, now we need to draw a line that is as close to as many of the points as possible. So we need to use a ruler here. And what I would suggest is doesn't need to connect any of the points necessarily it might go through some of them it doesn't have to go through all of them and so my line of best fit is probably going to be about there um, I might move that over just a touch and obviously you'd be doing this with a ruler and you could kind of change your mind as you went along and you could change the gradient I think that that gives us a fairly decent idea of the line of best fit then a weather station is 1,800 meters above sea level. Estimate the mean July midday temperature for this weather station. So now we need to use our line of best fit to do some estimations. So first of all, it's asking us for 1,800 meters above sea level. So we need to find out where that is first of all. So again, be careful when you're reading the scale. That's going to give that there is going to give me 1,900 meters above sea level, and go down two. That's going to give me 1,800 meters. If I go along to that point and then go down, that's going to give me a temperature of 12 degrees. So my estimate here would be 12 degrees. Now you will be given some degree of um, you'll be given some degree of kind of what's the word I'm looking for? leniency you'll be given some leniency in your answer here so it would be between 11 and 13 will be a correct answer so any answer between 11 and 13 will be fine part e asks you to estimate the height above sea level of the weather station when the temperature was 18 degrees so again using our graph uh, using our line of best fit to estimate so let's go to where 18 degrees is so there's 20 19 two more along to where 18 is go up to our line of best fit then go along and we can see that that is going to be mm, somewhere between somewhere between so 900's there that means that 950 is there sort of in between 900 and fifth, uh, 950 and, nine, and 1000 so between 950 and 1000 I'm just going to call it um, we'll say 975. 
And again, you would be given some leniency on your answer here.